Transcribe and translate with Microsoft Word Online in Microsoft Teams. HLS, show me how. Hi, my name is Michael Gennady, and I'm a Microsoft Teams technology specialist working for Microsoft's Healthcare and Life Sciences Division. If you ever have questions for me or any of my colleagues, you can always find us at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. So the challenge that we're looking at today is that oftentimes medical clinicians and other professionals, they're often on the go, yet they need to take notes and make those available, sometimes even in multiple languages for accessibility. If you think about it, as a professional on the go, you may have a small device like your smartphone in your hand, and that may be all. But if you're walking through the halls, if you're having to go from move from one place to another, even perhaps within your vehicle, you cannot sit there and start typing out notes from something that you just observed, interacted with, etc. Yet you need to be able to capture that as soon as possible while it's fresh and then make that available, right? So to your fellow colleagues and even possibly to others, for accessibility in other languages who may, you know, they may be patients or others that you want to provide that for. So what's the solution? Well, there is a new transcription service that coupled with the translation services built into Microsoft Word and surfaced through Microsoft Teams make all this so simple. And that's how I like it. We like it simple. So we're going to take a look at how somebody who just recorded their voice talking on their phone can go ahead very quickly and easily and then add that and have it transcribed and then translate that using Microsoft Word. So let's go ahead and take a look at our demonstration. All right, so here you can see I'm in Microsoft Teams and you can, you'll can you note I do have a couple of documents. I have a test transcribe that I did where I uploaded a file and you can see it's gone ahead. It's added that recording. It did, you know, this very basic transcription here uh, that we could use, but I want to go ahead and I'm going to create, here's this one I did patient X observation. We're going to redo this one just to show you. But what I did was I recorded on my phone, simply took my phone and did the voice recording and it created uh, audio file that I can upload as a part of that and make it into a Word doc. And so what we're going to do is select new. Now I could take an existing Word doc and add it to it. It's important to note that, but we're going to go ahead and I'm going to call this patient X demo, <laughs> right? So it's this observation one, but I can name it, give it a com naming convention, whatever. We're going to click create. And it's opening Microsoft Word right in line in Teams. Now that's important, right? We want to keep it Teams as that single pane of glass to get work done. Make it simple. The second I finish with this file, it's available for all my colleagues, right? So this is a patient X observation. And so I could be, for example, you know, a, you know, we might have this templated and, and done, but I might be a nurse who's just done rounds and I had my observations and I recorded in my phone as I was walking, you know, things about that I observed, etc. on the go. Uh, I could be a doctor that's just had an, you know, a meeting with a patient. I could be a provider perhaps who's just gotten off the phone or even uh, taking if we're recording that phone call or that team's meeting that we had in telehealth or whatever, being able to take that and we want to create a transcription in Word that's accessible to everyone off of that. So many scenarios, right? So what I'd like to do is I need to add the audio file as a transcription. So what I'm going to do is click, tell me what you want to do. And I'm just going to say I want to transcribe. And there we go. There it is. Transcribe. And it says generate a transcript by uploading your audio file. A WAV, an MP4. That's a video file. So think about those 
telehealth meetings if you do record them with patient's consent you could record you could dump this up here and actually create a transcript that's easily accessible by all of your staff right from here um, I've also had people ask for how do I create a transcription off of anything in Microsoft stream presentations etc we want to create a clean transcript here's how you can take that mp4 you can also take a .m4a file that's what I have that's recorded or an mp3 file or you can actually record right from here but we're going to go ahead and select upload audio here is that one that I did around this patient X we're going to select open it's now going to transcribe the audio file it's looking through and doing a couple of things number one it's recognizing all the speech as text and creating the transcript but and more important not more importantly but also importantly it recognizes different speakers so for example if there was myself and a patient you'll see speaker one speaker two if there's three of us maybe a group of colleagues speaking I can do all that if I recorded perhaps a, a symposium or a session and there was a panel I would get all the different speakers so here we go this was just the simple one that I did and it's created that I can play it back here you can notice we can forward uh, adjust the volume for that if we wanted here's that speaker one I can edit any of these particular sections if need be I can click and add just just a single section I don't have to add the whole thing maybe I just want the pertinent piece in a document again if you think about maybe a templated form that we have and adding that in well that's how we could do it or I can add the entire transcription to the document I'm gonna go ahead and select that it creates a link to the uploaded uh, file that's there right so it's now available it's permission to here it's gone ahead and created that transcription and if I wanted now I can actually go and we can do a couple of things number one I could close this right so as soon as I close it boom there it is there's that particular document it's available now for all my colleagues immediately the contents also being full text index so it is searchable if I click and open that we'll get that document back again in here but maybe I have colleagues or patients or others that I need to provide this to who speak a different language so for accessibility I can simply come to review translate is a service available I can translate an individual section or the entire document I'm gonna select document and it says create a translated copy of this document it's going to auto detect the primary language previously I'd selected Italian but you know we can do any local one so perhaps you know it might be more appropriate if we if we select Spanish here for this one and so if I have a large Hispanic population maybe I have a Hmong one or Serbian or some other I mean any of the language packs with Microsoft Office are supported so here I Hmong I know that there are groups uh, in some of the areas that I work with who have that so I can go ahead now and select translate translating please wait it's going to now go ahead and create this particular file for this right and so here we go I have that that's available um, notice I have a lot of different options I can open this uh, in the browser immersive reader I can download it download it as a PDF all kinds of different things that we can do here I can take a look at the accessibility mode I can print it we can close it um, just many options I'm gonna go ahead and say you know let's uh, maybe we'll download a copy of that there we go so now I have my own local copy that I can do with as I would like here and then I'm going to go ahead and just back up come on back so here's that and now let's go ahead and just grab that one just for uh, sake of keeping everything all together so that should be right here there we go so there's the Hmong version that's been added so now we have both of them and again all of that's immediately available 
to my colleagues from this one spot. So a lot of great things that we can do here. I'll go ahead and close that. Transcription and translation. All right, that's it. I mean, I hope that you found this useful. It's easy. This is a powerful feature. Again, think about all the scenarios. Folks have asked me all the time around, you know, look, we've got, it's doing these in stream. We've got these files that are uploaded, these videos, their meetings, etc. I just want a clean transcript that I can output. You can do it here. If you have, again, your phone, like I had my smartphone in my case, I have an iPhone and I, I just recorded quick audio, save that. It automatically, because I, when I do that, it, I have one, one drive on my phone, it's synchronized up. And then I came to my PC and boom, I'm able to create a transcript of everything that I've said there. And it can capture both multiple speakers. And then finally, if we need to, we can take a look at actual translating that as a service built right in as well. So transcription, translation, using Microsoft Word online within Teams, never having to leave my Teams environment. Easy, powerful, show it to your colleagues, try it yourself. Hope you found this useful. If you have further questions on this and other features or anything for myself or my colleagues, again, you can find all of us at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. If you'd like to connect to me professionally online, um, you can go ahead and send me an invite to connect on linkedin.com slash in slash Mike Gennady. I'd be happy to uh, connect with you in LinkedIn. And finally, you can follow all of my tweets around various things around Microsoft 365 services and just fun stuff on twitter.com slash Gennady. I hope you found this helpful and interesting. Get out there, give it a try. Thanks for watching. And as always, take care. Have a great day and ciao.